Hello my soccer universe. Well, I'm not wearing orange, I'm wearing the centenary US jersey. By now you know the US women have successfully defended their title by winning the final over the Netherlands. But at least in the first half, was it was not necessarily a good final, but it was a more even match than I expected. I honestly I thought that the US will again score early and then um, use their, dom their dominance to make it a rather comfortable scoreline. Um, and partly because I know the Netherlands are European champions um, and they probably have a decent, they have, they have a pretty decent squad and they have good players, but um, two of their best players, Lieke Martens and Janice van der Sanden, are not on their best uh, form, uh, uh, injured and so on. So didn't seem that strong. And if you look at the US, they have probably the most trouble against Spain, which is a pretty good side. They had uh, France, a little bit of trouble. France got the tactics wrong. Uh, England had them on the back foot. And those are all teams that I actually think are on a normal day better than the Dutch team for now. Oh, but you know, if the Dutch, oh, at this World Cup, I, sh I, sh I should say, I think the Dutch team can play with all of these. But, um, you know, the European Championship was for sure uh, part on home soil. But what the Dutch do, did do well is that in the first half, during the entire uh, entire first half, they were staying very compact and didn't allow the US a lot of space and they tried to pounce on errors of the US well, while they more or less played an, I don't want to say flawless game, but uh, tried to minimize the errors. They played really, really smart and uh, when after 12 minutes they hadn't even conceded a goal yet and uh, basically not even conceded a goal chance. Uh, you could see, yes, this might be a little bit a different way for the US women to going in the into this game. Um, that it will be hard work. But of course, the longer the uh, half went on, the more the US asserted themselves. And, you know, um, Van Venendal could really show that she is... Uh, probably, if not the best, one of the best goalkeepers at this World Cup. She had great saves. I mean, uh, probably the best one, in my opinion, was uh, the first one she made when um, Julie Ertz um, had a block draw, the ball came back to her and she just more or less volleyed it onto her. Uh, she also had great um, saves on Alex Morgan, uh, where she, the post helped a little bit. Um, and Samantha Muse, Muse uh, same thing. So uh, she definitely kept the Dutch in the game, but I felt like between the 35th and around the 42nd, 43rd, it really was only a matter of time until the state scored. But uh, thanks to Van Veenendal, it never happened. And uh, in the end, at the end of the half, actually the Dutch had chances. They got their corner kicks and, you know, with Midema up there, you always have uh, a chance. And I think that bothered the US women because um, at the halftime, uh, they made already the first uh, cha uh, change, uh, putting on Krieger for O'Hara and uh, putting a little bit more pressure on the Dutch, uh, really going for it. But again, the Dutch kept it together staying compact, defending very well, maybe not going too much on the offensive because they knew if they attack going forward, the US is going to eat them alive. I mean, and I mean with an attacking line of Tobin Heath, Alex Morgan, Megan Rapino, who played again, um, uh, that's fearsome stuff. And uh, Bernstein, Medium and Martins are pretty good themselves, but you know, uh, it's not uh, the same world class that is uh, there. So yeah, um, it took a while and I actually thought that uh, after the first 10 minutes it was a little bit iffy that they again weathered the storm and then comes a uh, through ball where um, Alex Morgan is going forward, forward the ball and unfortunately uh, Van der Gracht tries to defend it, tries to go for a ball but the foot is too high, she hits Morgan. The ref actually gave a corner kick which I know. I think a year ago, two year, years ago, we would not even we would have said, yeah, maybe you could have given something, but it was not really there. Uh, now in a war world, yes, there was contact there. Yes, Alex Morgan could have controlled the ball and go through. 
yes, the foot was too high. So I'm not saying I contest the penalty, but I actually I disliked the call. Let's put it that way. I don't want to. It is that is the right call. There was contact. Every everything there, but I think we get it getting in a world where it's not really right. Uh, to me, it, it doesn't feel quite right, uh, especially in the replay. I think you can see that she wanted to get the ball, but yeah, it was the high, I, I was going back and forth. Yes, it was high foot or whatever. So Rapino steps up and very safely slots at home. It was very uh, in, in, interesting how Favenedal was speculating on the one side and when she saw the Rapinos going, going to her, she couldn't even move. She tried to go back, but you had no chance. And yeah, Rapino, who I think is the face of this team, despite a um, uh, star like Alex Morgan, who honestly had a rather disappointing World Cup. I mean, her biggest uh, thing was when she was playing um, in the semis and, and scored the goal, but I would actually have expected more from her, whereas Rapino, once the knockout stage came around, she really took the team on, on her shoulders, except when she couldn't in the semifinal. But scoring the goals against France, against Spain, and now the first goal in the final, um, really, she is the best player on this team. Uh, and probably it was also her last tournament, so you know, it's a big generation. We'll talk about that. I think a penalty goal broke the Netherlands. Um, there was a dribble by Miedema in where, yeah, she just couldn't get the shot off. Um, I also remarked a little bit that um, the field seems bigger for the women. I think, um, I don't want to change the rules, but, um, you know, when they enter the box and they're all free, it still seems like a long way to go, uh, whereas with the men, as soon as they enter the box, most of them shoot already. So you see this difference in athleticism, but uh, on the other side, when I watch a Miedema, um, or even, um, you know, uh, most US players, they, they are technically really, really gifted. There's re some really great soccer, I think especially Tobin Heath. And yeah, as I said, they were there, they, they were broken, and um, it was then uh, a nice effort by uh, Rose Lavelle, who kind of dribbles through and curls a shot in the 69th, make it 2-0, and then there were chances for the US to even make the scoreline worse, which wasn't necessarily fair, because... Um, Yes, the Dutch didn't have much going forward, but they played very, very solid and probably uh, had the play best team game. If it wasn't played at uh, a lot of heat and at the end of a long tournament, and I think if everyone would have been fit, I think that the Dutch could have given the US a little run for the money, not taking away from the US. Uh, it was also amazing that the stadium was solidly in, in American hand. Um, despite the little Dutch colony behind the goal. But yeah, so Carly Lloyd comes on, Kristen Press comes on. Um, they, there are chances. I mean, there were a few, few times where uh, one of the uh, Americans could have gone on and maybe score another goal. I think it, I, I, I was okay that it ended then 2-0 and um, that settled uh, the game. The US women defend their title, they crown a generation that more or less has reached three consecutive finals, losing the first one with penalties and winning the other two, especially the second, very comfortably. Uh, this one also looked overall comfortable, to be honest. Uh, they are the best team in the world, and for that you rarely see that the best team in the world um, wins it all. We also have a golden boot for Megan Rapino. Yes, she finishes uh, uh, level with Ellen White and Alex Morgan, uh, however, she played less minutes and to be honest, nothing against Alex Morgan and so on, I think she is the other big star in this team, but if five of the six goals come in the first game against Thailand, I'm sorry. The rest of the World Cup was not so much, whereas Megan Rapino really carried the team going forward and being, uh, being a very creative force that Alex Morgan actually never was at least to me. Uh, I think she's a valuable player for the squad, don't get so I don't get me wrong, but um, I think Megan Rapino is the player of the tournament. Um, yeah, and she also got the golden ball for the best player of the tournament, so uh, it wasn't a knock -off. I'm happy for the Dutch team to really have actually made it to the final, uh, kind of confirming that the Euro Championship was not fluke they are a team to watch yes they had a slightly easier route i mean 
beating uh, Japan team in transition, beating Italy, and then beating Sweden doesn't go uh, Spain, France, England. But you know, you made it to a final and you showed today they deserve to be there. I think their coach uh, is smart and really, Sarina Wigman, uh, really tactically adept. I think the Dutch team is here to stay and I'm honestly looking forward to that. Um, I saw some flashes of brilliance from Miedema. I would have liked to see Alike Martens at the top of her game. Uh, if those two would uh, really gel and if Martens really can play on the top, 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 top of a game, I think then we will see a completely different Dutch team. Um, but yeah, that ends the Women's World Cup. Um, I think it was a great tournament. Uh, it really put the women's game on the map. Probably gonna do a little bit more of a review uh, during the week, especially when the AFCON then has a, a short, short break. But I have to say, I truly enjoyed the World Cup, and I have to say, women's soccer is really something that I find very enjoyable. It's different than men's soccer. There are a few things that I like a better. Um, it is not as brutal and also not as much flopping, cheating or whatever going on, although, you know, it gets in there, of course, as well, because once you want to win. Um, I also find it, uh, despite having a slower pace, I find uh, I find the technical ability of some of the women is really great to watch. Um, yes, it takes some adjusting, especially if you just watch Champions soccer, League Soccer and then you watch Women's Soccer. It takes a little bit adjusting to the whole thing, but um, it doesn't take away that this is a really watchable sport. Uh, that I totally enjoyed and you know with both Italy and the Netherlands my favorite teams and the men's side um, going far what more can I like uh, of course two curses on the men's uh, side were also prolonged for the women's penalties for England and the Dutch cannot win a final in the World Cup all remains to be seen anyway Congratulations, USA, uh, a very deserved winner of this World Cup, even if in all the games, yes, I have, I have sympathies for the US, even during all the games when they played some European teams, I probably was uh, cheering more for the outsider. Uh, I recognize that this is the crowning achievement of a great generation, probably one that we won't see that often anymore. I think the game will become level, I'm not sure if we will see the dominance, although the US will always have a lot of talent, will always be a force, and um, that we also have to see. Anyway, drop your thoughts and comments below, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.